Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Here's a little optical illusion that almost anybody can make really easy. We're going to start off by drawing a rectangle. And I'm going to turn them later, but I want this thing to be like one inch. I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with black. I'm going to get away red of the outline, so I'm going to left click over here. Let's zoom in here. And let's get the interactive fill tool and just kind of go straight across. Now you can, you know, play around with this quite a bit and do whatever you want to with it. I always like to go up here and smooth it and look at the difference. It gives a little bit too much white, so we're going to go there. Now this is one inch, so we're going to move them 1.25. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, and I'm going to make quite a few of them. Uh, the more, the better, the more it's going to look like the, uh, the original. Uh, let me move this out of the way. I made it. I was hitting the plus key. That's one thing controlled about the control D key. It, it'll keep going when you go back to it. Control D and now let's go down and try to somewhat make a square. That's good enough. Control G to group it. Now let's rotate it 45 degrees. Now let's get in a, let's hit P and put it in the center of the page. Let's get an ellipse and hit P. We're not quite big enough, so we're going to hold down the shift key and make it grow from the center. Now with that selected, go up to effects and down to lens and go to over to, from lens, no lens effect, down to fisheye. And look at that. And we we're gonna we're gonna do this one a little bit more. Uh, let's see what 150 looks like. And then you go to frozen, and it freezes it in place. Now we still have the red outline, so I'm gonna left, excuse me, right click no outline. I actually like the first one better. Let's back up here and just change it back to 100. And then go frozen. And you could, you know, use multiple colors on this. Uh, it looks a lot better with the outline away. But it it actually appears that, uh, I think my first one's even better, that you have white lines with boxes in them and almost like they're a shadow. Almost like if it was a, looking at the end of cardboard. I just didn't do quite a good, a good job of... Uh, interactive field and what I there we go that's what I did differently I uh, I needed to rotate let's just do it real quick let's rotate before I do the interactive field tool I rotated them on an angle so let's rotate that guy 45 degrees now let's use the, and we can get rid of the outline right now. Now let's use the interactive fill tool and go from corner to corner. I knew it kind of looked different. And then I like smoothing it out. It changes it up quite a bit. That's pretty good. Now to duplicate it, I'm going to run it back to zero. Control D and make a duplicate. I went so far, I went back to 225. Control D and just make a lot of them. The more I think you have, the better. Um, that's good enough. Control D and go downward till you have enough to make a at least a square. Group it together. Control G or go up here and group. Control G. Now let's rotate this 45 degrees. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. Get a ellipse and hit P. We're good size. We can make it a little bit bigger by holding down the shift key and having it grow outwardly. That's selected. So now you can go up here to lens effect and fish eye and you get that and then freeze it. And play around with that. Make some you know other colors. and uh, uh, That is a weird look. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.